so far above you, they be thinking I have gepo. They won't hear the screams you make, they only hear the echo. Pull the three plays, outcast life, yeah, you know I get paid. Best in the world, it ain't close, no way. Grind so hard, haven't slept in three days. Okay, I might pull the three plays. Crew pulling up, don't give, we take. Right around the city, you loot, we spray. All around the world, people know my name. Okay, I'm okay. the three blades. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. Today is the beginning of a new month and so it's the beginning of a new series or I guess tutorial mini micro series within a series where I break down one combination like this one right here and basically take it step by step and teach you how to do it by the end of the month. As I'm sure you noticed by the title or the thumbnail of the video, this is influenced by Zoro's two sword style. So you are gonna be using two swords today, but it's important that your sword that you use is safe. And so get a tricking sword. This is a tricking sword it's made out of aircraft aluminum and built for tricking so that if you touch the blade, it doesn't actually cut you so you can be safe. I'll leave links to those down below, but let's get started. Oh yeah. So we're gonna start with our first striking combination into our first trick. So starting off, you're going to step out with your left leg, horizontal strike, just like so. You're just gonna step out, horizontal strike, stance going in the opposite direction in a front stance. And then you're going to stab, just like so, putting your first strike above in a blocking position and then stabbing straight forward with your right hand. And with your stance, it's just switching sides, just like that. So we have our first strike, our second, and then you're going to do this spin move to our, our, our third strike down here. Again, switching stances as you strike. Now the trick to getting this spin move is think of your hands as hands on a clock. They both have to spin in the same direction. So what you're gonna do is your right hand is gonna come around and strike. Just, just one more time, around and strike. Your left hand is going to come around and under the armpit. Again, come around and under the armpit. And when you do both at the same time, bang. And this can be kind of challenging. So make sure you take your time, go slowly at first because you don't want to hit yourself because although these are dull, they won't cut you, they still don't feel good when you hit yourself. So make sure you go slow and take your time. And if you're using like a sword alternative, like a Boken or even just a PVC pipe, if you really want to, that's fine, but it still sucks to get hurt. So again, take your time and get it right so you don't build any bad habits. So you're gonna be doing the opposite circle to the last circle we did, taking your, your right hand going around your head and striking, but this time with your left hand, all it does is get together and finish striking at the same time. Bang. Now, the best way to do this next trick is not to actually toss them parallel to each other like this, so you can't really see it. The best way I've found is to actually toss them slightly staggered. Um, it will make it so that A, the camera picks it up a little bit better, and it looks a little cooler because it seems like you just did two different tosses, even though you're doing the same toss, you know, at two different height levels, if that makes sense. One versus two, just like that. Honestly, you could do whichever one you feel looks better, that's just the one I feel looks better. As far as the toss in particular, you're actually gonna put one of your swords down for right now, and you're just gonna use one sword. You wanna learn the basic toss, and I've done these before, and I'll link a video to like the full tutorial and just the basic toss if you really want to. Uh, check that out, it's, it's a much more in depth than this one will be. But you're going to wanna do your first basic toss with both hands. So all this is, is pushing your handle forward and your blade towards you so that you can catch it falling into your hand like that. And once you get it on your right hand, it's important that you also get it on your left hand. So you have to be able to do it pretty much every time you want on both hands. Once you have two swords, you're just gonna wanna practice tossing both 
and catching both on the handle. It can be easy to grab up here, like I, you may have seen me do sometimes. So make sure you just get in the habit of catching the handle. Now I'm gonna take a moment to point out that I am on grass right now. Like I can stick my swords in the ground and, and, and wipe off dirt. So if they hit the ground, it's just dirt. It's soft. It's not gonna damage your blades. If you do this on something like concrete or, or the sidewalk or the street or something hard, you can either damage your blade or if you're doing just it somewhere like tile or, or wood, you could damage the floor. So make sure you're doing this outside in the grass. So now all together, your combination should look something like this. One, two, three, four, catch. And there we go. And that is the first episode of this month's five part tutorial series. Yeah, it's five parts because this month has five Mondays and I wanted to do something a little longer this time and a lot more challenging. So if you wanna learn the rest of this combination, drop a like so I know that you like it, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I post next week. And if you want this awesome law hat, then check out the link down in the description below or you can check out one of these for yourself. There's also merch down there, but uh, whatever works for you. <laughs> I hope one of you caught the uh, the One Piece reference there. But with all that said, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.